Arsenal signed Kai Havertz from Chelsea for £65 million. It's fair to say the German international has not hit the ground running so far. But after a goal and an assist in his last couple of games and creating one of the most catchy chants the club has ever seen, I think it's time to make this once sought after wonder kid a Ballon d'Or contender and make him realise his true potential. So of course Kai does start as an 82 rated overall this year. Dropped down from last year from an 84 not the greatest he does have a potential of 87 this year but obviously due to dynamic potential we hopefully can get that even higher now in real life i've seen Havertz deployed as a left-sided eight for my beloved arsenal and truth be told it's just not worked out at all the only time he seems to have shined for us so far is when he's been deployed as a striker so in my opinion the only way we're going to make kai win the ballon d'or is to pop him up front now, you might be thinking, what about Gabriel Jesus? Well, unfortunately, he is just going to have to be a bench player for the time being, being a backup striker or a backup winger to Saka. Now, unfortunately, he does have an exclamation mark next to his player. Even though he can play striker, he isn't fully trained. So I think we need to do that. So if we are to make Kai a striker, it is going to take an estimated time of 31 weeks. Lord help us. But hopefully, once he's trained as a striker, we can grow him into the real potential that he deserves to be. So we are at the halfway stage of the season. I thought I'd check in on the boys and see how King Kai is getting on. Wow, so Arsenal are top of the league as things stands. 48 points, closely followed by Liverpool and Manchester City all the way down in fourth. So I think we should jump into the squad hub and see exactly how everyone has been doing. Oh boy, you love to see it. King Kai Havertz, top goal scorer in the team with 14 goals and 4 assists. So as you can see, he's got 8 goals and 3 assists in the Premier League, 4 in the Champions League, 2 in the Carabao Cup. He's doing bits. One thing I have noticed is Bakayo Saka actually hasn't been playing a lot. He's only got 11 games under his belt with insane stats with still 8 goals and 6 assists. Maybe he got a serious injury. So as it stands at the halfway point, then this is the team that has led Arsenal to the top of the league with an 84 rated Havertz up front. I was going to potentially make a transfer in January, but I think I'm very much happy with this team for the time being. And as it's top of the league, why would I mess with it? So it's the end of season one. And I like that news item that I've seen Arsenal crowned Premier League champions. Oh god, I wish that happened in real life. Look how beautiful that looked with the red and white on. I don't like the thumbs down in the top left from the board. What have we done wrong? Let's have a look. Oh my, look how tight that was. We won the league by literally four goals. That's insane. We had an identical record to Liverpool, but literally just managed to score a couple more goals. And that gave us the better goal difference to win the league. That's crazy. So looking at the other competitions and Emirates FA Cup, who did we lose to? So we got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Liverpool, who eventually won it. So can't complain there. And the Champions League winner is yet to be decided. And that is against FC Bayern versus Newcastle. I wonder where we got up to. We got to the semis, guys, and we only lost 3-2 to Bayern Munich. Now, the all-important thing about this series is, of course, about Kai Havertz. Let's see how he did. He had an unbelievable season. Joint top goal scorer with Saka, both with 25 goals each. Saka had an incredible comeback, by the way, because he was injured for the first half of the season. In 25 games, he scored 18 goals and 9 assists. What a guy. Star boy. Kai got 17 in the Premier League in 36 games. 5 in the Champions League, which is pretty nice. So we got 25 and 48 all in all. Martin Odegaard did absolute bits as well with 17 goals and 11 assists in all competitions. As well as Gabriel Martinelli and Jesus. Look how many goals we scored in this team. No wonder we won the league. But going back into Kai, obviously. So he is an 85 rated overall now playing up front for us with a plus 3. So at the end of season one then of the Kai Havertz Ballon d'Or winning team, this is what we've got. An 85 Kai, 86 Martinelli, 89 Martin Odegaard. Holy crap. And an 86 Saka, 
Rice is now an 87 rated as well alongside Thomas Partey and both Gabriel and Saliba are 85 rated. What I'm going to do is jump and make some transfers so we don't get sacked, I think. Maybe sign some youth players and maybe sign a couple of first teamers to push us to the next level. A new feature that they have added into career mode this year. This is absolutely insane, by the way. Arsenal winning the Premier League with a title trophy parade. Oh, God, I really hope this happens in real life. DJ on the bus dancing with Thomas Partey. Mikel is going insane. Saka lifting the Premier League trophy. You love to see it. So I've just seen that the board have given us 344 million to build a super team around Kai Havertz. Then we're going to sell a few fringe players and then let's get to spending. So signing number one then. I thought it was a time to make an upgrade on our defense. I love Benny Blanco in real life. But I feel like we need a superstar right back. And that, of course, is Ashraf Hakimi. Unbelievable play. And I think he's going to take our defense up to the next level. Here he is then. Ashraf Hakimi in the default EA Sports kit. Because this game is completely broken. But you love to see it. Signing number one. Signing number two then, and you probably could see this coming. Decided to improve the other side of my defense on the left-hand side this time, and Mr. Alfonso Davies. Davies and Akimi as wingbacks. Jeez. Zinchenko has actually been asking to leave, so might have to sell him, unfortunately, but I ideally want to keep him and Ben White as the backup so I can rotate them throughout the year. Signing number three then, and this one might be a bit of a shock, but... David Raya has gone back to Brentford and I needed a new goalkeeper. I love Aaron Ramsdale, but I thought, why not? Let's buy a big boy. And we've decided to splash the cash on Mike Manian. 89 rated goalkeeper. Our defense is starting to look a little bit tasty. So we're just about to start season two. And this is the lineup that we've got. Havertz still an 85 rated. Hopefully he can get up to an 87 at least this year. Hopefully we can push on. You never know. He might be a contender for the Ballon d'Or after year one. Very unlikely, but we will check. Of course, the new signings, Davies, Akimi, and Mike Manyan make the back absolutely solid. Didn't want to change anyone in the attack. We scored so many goals last season. We still got Jesus and Trossard off the bench, so happy to keep it like this. So we are at the halfway point of season two. Let's see how we're getting on. Ooh, we're not doing great in the league. Not like last year. We are currently third. But then again, maybe an overreaction. We're only four points off both Manchester clubs. Liverpool nowhere to be seen. We did once again win the Community Shield 5-1 against Norwich this time. Easy day out to Wembley. We got knocked out of the third round of the Carabao Cup to Aston Villa on penalties. That is not good. And we just about managed to top our group in the Champions League once again. And we now have an away trip at the old lady Juventus. Now it's time to see how the squad's been doing. Oh my. King Kai Havertz. 21 goals in 24 games, ladies and gentlemen. 87 overall now. 18 in 19 in the Premier League. This guy has turned insane. Saka also doing unbelievable things. And look at Alfonso Davies with the eight goals and eight assists. Now, I have just jumped into the news section expecting to see a Ballon d'Or winner. But we have got this UEFA Team of the Year 2024 forward shortlist. And there you can see our boy King Kai alongside Mbappe, Martinez and star boy Saka. Now, unfortunately, we could all see this coming. Aaron Ramsdale requested a transfer Wanted to leave. Couldn't really do anything about it. Newcastle came in with an offer around 68 million. He hasn't literally played a single game this season, guys. So unfortunately, Aaron Ramsdale is out the door. We're going to have to sign a backup goalkeeper, though. So I've just skipped to the end of the season. And it does look like Kai Havertz has actually won Premier League Player of the Season. Look at that trophy. Look at that suit. What a player. What a man. Mikel is amazed. So is Saliba. Oh, I absolutely love this. King Kai. What a guy. So I am assuming we have indeed won the league once again. 80 points this time. Three off Manchester City and Spurs. Ew. They were very close to winning the league. 
How did we get on the Champions League? It doesn't look like we're going to win it again this year. Final against Borussia Dortmund and PSG. We got knocked out by PSG in the semis again. Back to back semi-finals. Maybe we can finally win it. Now I'm assuming if Kai Havertz won player of the season. Oh my god. I mean Saka to be fair absolutely did madness. 38 goals, 11 assists in total, 30 in the leagues. Oh my god, but Kai did get 29 in the league, 33 all in all. These three have surely got to be nominations for the next upcoming Ballon d'Or. So this is the squad to end season two, and oh my god, does it look insane. Kai Havertz is now up to an 88 rated, followed up by Martinelli, Odegaard and Sacco, all bordering on that 90 mark. Rice and Partey in the midfield still absolutely dominate. And then the back four with Davies, Gabriel, Saliba and Hakimi and Mike Manyan. Not entirely sure what we're going to do in the transfer window. I feel like we're one more season and that Ballon d'Or is coming home to Kai. So just about to jump into season three then. And I think it's fair to say we are on the cusp of greatness. Kai Havertz is now 26 years old with an 88 overall back to back unbelievable seasons for me winning the Premier League twice and coming so close to winning the Champions League. Hopefully, if he continues his form, we might get a chance of getting in with the Ballon d'Or. At least a nomination would be nice. So jumping into the transfer budget, and we only have a measly 171 million this year, previous to that 320-something million, whatever we had. It was insane. Now, looking at the squad, obviously, where does it need improving? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm probably going to make one big boy signing for this summer. Let's see who it is. Now, when I said I was going to make a big signing, I wasn't going to lie. A record transfer fee. £180 million pound for the wonder... Well, I was about to say wonder kid, but the superstar at this point, Jude Bellingham. Thought oh, what a perfect partner for Declan Rice. What a signing. So this is the team for season three. And oh my days, it looks disgusting. Bellingham and Rice in the midfield. Wow. Now hopefully we can finally get a little bit closer to Kai winning the Ballon d'Or. Hopefully he can at least get a nomination this year. 88 rated. If he carries on his trajectory, hopefully we can push for that 90 rated by the end of the season. Now we've got a cut scene for the Ballon d'Or. Bakayo Saka sat next to Kai Havertz has actually won the Ballon d'Or for us. I don't know how to feel about this. Obviously, I'm over the moon for Saka. That is absolutely amazing. All of his teammates in the stands. But this challenge is to get Kai to win it. So what do we do? Well, I mean, should I stop the challenge here? No, I think we should definitely go for one more season regardless what happens and see if Kai can pick up the reward. So obviously we know Saka has won the Ballon d'Or, which is absolutely amazing. And I think Kai was runner up, which is really annoying. So maybe it's just going to be a battle of our own players to try and win it. But it is halfway through the season pretty much, just a bit over. I am in the 10th of January. So let's have a quick check up on how everyone else is doing. Oh, okay. So we're not actually top. We are four points behind Man City and a few points behind Liverpool, but... Still very much in the mix, 20 games into the season. Now, let's take a look at the stats. Now, of course, no surprises there. Havertz and Saka both battling it out. 17 goals and 16 goals for Saka. Six assists and four assists for Saka. 90 rated now, Kai Havertz. From an 82, he started out this just a couple of seasons ago. Remember, we're halfway through season three and he's a 90 overall. You love to see it. So I've skipped to the end of the season and there's a few interesting things on my screen to say the least. Next fixture, UEFA Champions League final. So we know for certain we're in the Champions League final, which is insane. But there's a thumbs down in the top left, meaning I feel like we might have not won the league. We finished second. So many points behind Manchester City this year. They absolutely ran away with it. That is not good enough. And I can see why the board would be frustrated with that. But we do have a Champions League final to play. And that is probably going to save our jobs if we win that. So fingers crossed. Before we jump into the Champions League final, let's see the players' stats for the season. Oh my god! 
Well, Kai definitely got pissed off that he didn't win the Ballon d'Or from Saka this year because what the hell is that? 50 goals in 60 games. Saka was just the average season of 26, but they both played 60 games this season. We got 17 goals in the Champions League, Kai, and, he, and 22 in the Premier League. He is also now a 91 overall, surely one of the best players in world football. Saka also having an incredible season at a 92, but him winning the Ballon d'Or might have been the best thing to ever happen to Kai. Bloody hell. Now, I think because it is a special occasion, this could be actually our first Champions League win. I feel like we need to jump into the game and see if we can win it. So, of course, this is going to be the lineup. Kai Havertz up front with Martinelli, Odegaard, and Saka, Bellingham, and Rice, Davies, Gabriel, Saliba, Hakimi, and Mike Men Yan. I think because it's such a special occasion, let's watch the game in the tactical view. Here we go the Champions League final against Bayer Leverkusen. How is this one going to turn out? It's going to be nice to actually see this team in action as well. Here comes Declan Rice driving forward. He plays it into Bakayo Saka. A little ball roll back into Saka. Saka takes a shot and Pickford with an unreal save. Here's Jude Bellingham on the edge of the box. Bellingham. Bellingham into Odegaard. And it's 1-0 in the Champions League final. The captain scores for us. Of course he does. And makes it 1-0. 1-0 to the Arsenal. Lovely play from Bellingham here. He does get tackled, but he keeps all, plays it to Odegaard, and he can't miss and buries it. Here comes Havertz. Here comes Havertz. He lays it off to Martinelli, into Bellingham, back to Havertz. Odegaard, Saka, Odegaard. That was the most Arsenal bit of play I've ever seen. How have we not scored there? So that is half time in the Champions League final. 1 0 to the Arsenal, and it's Martin Odegaard with the goal. Odegaard plays it into Havertz, into Bellingham, back to Havertz, back to Bellingham, back to Havertz. Oh, what a goal! We play some disgusting football, and Martin Odegaard, the captain, makes it two steps up in the biggest moments. Oh my days. Hoiberg and he's made it 2-1. Not as comfortable as like the ex-Tottenham man is captain in his side in the Champions League final. And he has scored against the old enemy. Easy goal, so much space. Here's Saka on the right now. Bakayo Saka plays it into Havertz. Kai Havertz, into Rice, into Odegaard. He scored a hat-trick in the final. This is the most unbelievable of performances from a captain you've ever seen. Steven Gerrard-esque. What a goal from Martin Odegaard on his right foot to get a hat-trick in the final. Kai Havertz may have a chance here. Kai Havertz, ball roll. Kai! Havertz, oh my days. Of course he had to score in the final. Unbelievable. Boro, Boro. And then bends it in the top corner on his weak foot. Give this man a Ballon d'Or already. And that is it. 4-1 to the Arsenal. We have won the Champions League for the first time in my lifetime anyway. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable scenes. And all the players are coming up onto the podium. And Captain Martin Odegaard is surely going to be the one lifting the trophy after scoring an amazing hat-trick to win us the game. Here he comes. Unbelievable. Martin Odegaard lifts the trophy. Champions of Europe. Arsenal FC. Get in. This is absolutely unbelievable. I've never seen this cutscene before. This is giving me low-key goosebumps because I'm just thinking if this ever happened in real life, what this would mean to me and the Arsenal fan base. 
So this is the team that is going to be leading us into season four. We do actually have a transfer budget, 120 million. But honestly, guys, I don't really know who to buy. But we do have a 91 rated Havertz, 90 Martinelli, 90 Odegaard, 92 Saka, Bellingham and Rice. The back four, back five even is absolutely incredible. Can this finally be the year Havertz wins the Ballon d'Or? Can't believe it. Jumping into the news. Thought I'd check out who the Ballon d'Or winner. And it's the robot Erling Haaland. How has Kai not won it this year? Or even Saka. That's insane. Is it because they won the league maybe? We go again. Now I have a bit of a crazy idea. See, why am I buying Rafael Liao you might say? Well, annoyingly... Martinelli has been basically not willing to sign a new contract for years now. And he's only got seven months left on his deal. So I'm going to see if I can swap him for Liao. They're basically worth the same. So why not? So he wants Martinelli plus 53 million. Tell you what. Do 43 million and Martinelli and you've got yourself a deal. And there we go, Rafael Liao. So here we go then, Rafael Liao joining the club finally. A swap with Gabriel Martinelli. Not ideally what I wanted to do, but the game seemed to be bugged out and wouldn't let me give him a new contract after years and years. So let's replace him with one of the best wingers in the world. Why not? So the end of season four then. Let's see how we got on. And Arsenal win the Premier League title. Let's see what it looked like this time. Oh, that is close. Once again, we literally only just beat Man City on goal difference. I think that's our second league title that we've won on goal difference. Now, it does look like we're in the Champions League final as well against Marseille. After beating Atletico Madrid 5, well, 6-5 on aggregate after a 2-2 draw. That is insane. Champions League final there. Not going to watch it this time. We're just going to do a quick sim. Obviously, there is the team. Pretty standard. Quick sim. Are we going to win? And we do win. Havertz and Jesus score. Odegaard gets sent off in the final after scoring a hat-trick last time. 2-1. Season 5. My fifth and final season. We won the league. We won the Champions League. Havertz has been on form for years. And finally, we win it. And finally win the Ballon d'Or. So I've just had a quick look at the news. Who will lift the Ballon d'Or? Kai, Erling, Rafael Liao and Saka. We've got three players in there. Watch it be bloody Haaland again. We do get a Ballon d'Or ceremony. Who's it going to be for? Of course. Five years in. Kai Havertz has finally won and well deserved the Ballon d'Or. What a suit. What a trophy. Kai Havertz, Ballon d'Or winner. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We got there in the end. I feel like we got robbed by Haaland last year, but us winning the Premier League probably pushed it over the edge. Taking five years, finally, to get Kai Havertz back to his very best. If you're new around here, please hit that like button. Subscribe as well. Get in the comments down below. Let me know if you wanted me to do this again with another player. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.